Good evening, and welcome to the news tonight at 6. First Minister Arlene Foster has blamed malign and criminal elements for whipping up young people involved in violent disorder across Northern Ireland that has left 41 police officers injured. In Londonderry, trouble has flared for seven nights running, while there has also been recent disorder in areas including Belfast, Newton Abbey, Carrickfergus, and Ballymena. Children as young as 12 have been involved. The Stormont Assembly is set to be recalled from Easter recess for an emergency debate on a motion condemning the attacks on police. Read more. Wheelie been thrown on M2 motorway amid Ballymena disorder. Armoured police Land Rovers come under attack from missiles in Carrickfergus. Credit, PA. The DUP leader said she had spoken to youth workers across Northern Ireland who said part of the issue is the closure of youth centres because of COVID-19 restrictions. I've asked the executive to look at that urgently and to get those youth centres open immediately, so those youths can come off the streets and come away from some malign influences that are in our society, Mrs Foster added. I certainly think in a particular area of Northern Ireland that there are malign and criminal elements who are whipping up some of our young people. I do absolutely accept that that is the case in a particular area of Northern Ireland, but South East Antrim UDA does not have right in other parts of Northern Ireland, so there are concerns right across Northern Ireland. The South East Antrim UDA has been blamed for attacks in some areas, amid apparent unrest over a series of policing operations targeting crime linked to the organization. Another news. Syra Khan has taken another swipe at Loose Women and its stars, branding it boring and admitting she no longer keeps in touch with most people on it. The 50-year-old quit the show after five years earlier this year and has made a string of comments about it needing a serious shake-up since. Next tonight. Several Gardai have been told to self-isolate tonight as it emerged that the now infamous, Dubai 2, are caught up in a COVID-19 scare. It is understood at least six Gardai have been told to self-isolate at home after coming into close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19. Neve Mulraney and her pal Kirsty McGrath, who allegedly refused to enter into mandatory hotel quarantine after arriving into Dublin Airport from Dubai, are also caught up in the COVID-19 scare. In a statement Gardai said they are not providing any comment at this time, but said that there is currently, no impact, on the services of the force. And finally, Emmerdale's Liv Flaherty gets drawn into another tough situation tonight, April 5, as Mandy Dingle begs her to help Vinnie acknowledge the truth about Paul Ashdale. Paul Reese Dinsdale was subjecting Vinnie to vicious beatings before his death in last week's wedding day stunt. Although Paul's true nature has now been exposed, a grief-stricken Vinnie is refusing to confirm what happened. That's it very latest tonight. We're back with the latest update at 10.30 in the night. Lee has the weather for you next. For the everyone on the evening news team, thank you for watching. Have a very good evening to you.